Before we begin our last piece, the music staff and singers want to extend to you our sincere thanks for being here tonight and all of the extra support to get these fine musicians to concerts and rehearsals at all times of day. Their hard work along with your support is what makes our K-12 music program here in Cedar Falls top notch. We're also grateful for our colleagues' support here this evening, Kevin Drove for all of his sound technician work, and our fabulous accompanist, Miss Rachel Johnson. At the conclusion of the concert, we can clap for Miss Johnson. At the conclusion of the concert, in an effort to aid the high school custodial staff, we kindly ask that you fold and stack your chairs along the side wall of the gym so that they can quickly put them back on the racks after everyone has left. If at all possible, it would greatly help them out if we can keep the blue chairs together, the black chairs together, and so forth, as the different color chairs go to diff different buildings throughout the district. Thank you for your help with this. This last piece is extremely special to all of us here this evening, and it needs a bit of explanation. Nine months ago in July, a family of five from our community took a vacation. A tragic car accident took the lives of Mr. Ben Bartlett, music teacher at Cedar Heights Elementary School, and his son, Charlie, and daughter Bailey, who were students at Orchard Hill Elementary School. Our K-12 music staff want to do something so incredibly unique to honor their lives and the passion for music that all three of them shared with us. We hired Connor Copeen, a composer who graduated from Wartburg College, the alma mater of Ben and Aaron Bartlett, to write a piece to be performed by these fantastic singers in front of you this evening. He did an amazing job from the music itself to the beautiful text, originally written by Langston Hughes. You will not only hear harmonious singing, but an intricate piano accompaniment to represent Ben, who was an incredibly gifted piano player. Mr. Copine also added, per our request, a solo cello part for Charlie, as he would have been busy playing his cello this year in sixth grade. Along with singing in this chorus before you this evening, and quite possibly would have been accompanying one of the elementary selections on the piano as he did last year. Bailey would have been a fifth grader this year at Orchard Hill and no doubt would have also been continuing her piano lessons with her dad, Ben, along with singing in this chorus and playing her viola in the school orchestra. So Mr. Copine also wrote a solo viola part to represent her. We hope you enjoy the world premiere of I Dream a World written by Connor Copine. We hope that the humble message of the text, combined with the intertwined musical representations, continue to bring us peace and healing, along with expressing a joyful celebration of Ben, Charlie, and Bailey Bartlett. Please enjoy I Dream a World. <laughs> 